You might have seen young Sheldon having a text conversation with his computer back in the 80s, but the term artificial intelligence is even older than that. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can talk to one of the earliest computer chatterbots. Lately, you've probably been hearing a lot about artificial intelligence and that already has uh, some kind of impact on our all day life. But the whole topic is nothing really new. Even in the 60s, people were worried about how to use computers to communicate with humans. So the MIT created a program that was able to have a text based conversation with uh, people in a normal language from 1964 to 1966. And this program was called ELISA. It was also implemented to some normal computer system that, that you could use on an actual personal computer because it was written in BASIC besides other things. And that is why it also was implemented to MS-DOS and we now later have an open source version of this for FreeDOS. And this is what we're going to look at today. I also want to mention that uh, when Eliza was later manipulated uh, to an Apple version of it, it was called the Don't Ask software. And when we are using Eliza today, you will probably realize why you shouldn't ask her any questions. It's better to just answer whatever she's saying and uh, it Maybe it makes you feel good, or maybe it's just uh, an interesting thing that you can actually have a kind of human feeling conversation uh, with uh, a computer. Probably you have watched uh, the series Young Sheldon, and if you were watching the first uh, season of the series closely, you will probably have seen Sheldon actually having a little conversation with Eliza and talking about his problems to her. So please hang on and have fun. In our freshly started FreeDOS machine, we want to install the computer algorithm program ELISA now. And installing with FreeDOS is a little bit easier than it was in the old MS or PC DOS, since FreeDOS already comes with a package manager. So in MS DOS installing ELISA was a kind of easy thing to do but it's uh, way more comfortable with using the package manager called fdimples here in FreeDOS. We can start that by just typing fdimples and this fdimples will show us all the programs that we have installed in our FreeDOS machine currently. Um, but it doesn't show us all the programs that are available in FreeDOS. The reason for that is just that it doesn't have a source for any more programs. And if we want to give it a source, we can just use our CD-ROM that we uh, use to install FreeDOS from. So I just ins uh, inserted that into the CD-ROM drive of our virtual machine. And now I'm going to restart f -Dimples. And from now on, it gives us a lot more options, a lot more programs that we could install but for now we're going to stick with uh, Eliza and that's actually a game or it's at least under the category of games. We can navigate through this whole program by using the arrow keys. So I'm going to use the down arrow key a couple of times to go to games. Then we use the right arrow key to find Eliza, which is our fourth option. It tells us that we are about to install one of the earliest computer chatter bots right here. And I think we're gonna mark this. And with uh, Eliza being marked, we can use the tab key to go to OK. Just uh, needed to use it twice, tab key. Now we're gonna press OK. And Eliza's already installed. That uh, went by pretty fast. It's just uh, a zip file on our CD ROM that has to be extracted to our computer. As you probably can see, it extracted it to C backslash games backslash Eliza. So that's our new directory. Uh, if you didn't see that, 
for any type of reason, you can still figure out by uh, using the dir com command to do a directory listing of C, you will see that uh, we got a new um, folder right here called games. We're gonna go to games. We're gonna see that there's a new folder in the games directory called Eliza. So let's look at the Eliza directory. And here's a, a executable file called Eliza. So I guess that's the one we are looking for. And we're gonna start Eliza right here. And now she's talking to me. She's already talking to me. She is my personal therapy computer now and she wants to know about my problems. So let's tell her a little bit about my problems. My parents are fighting a lot. Now she's asking me something totally different than she asked Shogun back then. Not really, do you? Oh, she doesn't want to talk about herself, but I want to. But I want to talk about you. Well, that's what I'm saying. I got this feeling that this conversation is not, not really going very well. Well, how are you, Eliza? Why are you interested in whether or not I am how a me? Okay, that's a little weird sentence right there. Um, please just... Tell me how you feel. Yes, I am. <laughs> Did you come to me because you are? Yes, you are. Well, not in first place. Are you saying no just to be negative? Why am I negative just because I said no one single time? Why do you ask? Well, and um, let's change the topic a little bit right here. Um, Sheldon came to the conclusion that Eliza's future might be overrated. And I want to know what she thinks about that. Your future might be overrated. <laughs> well, that's her reaction. She's a uh, really uh, uh, kind of weird person. <laughs> so I don't think uh, there's much to say about this anymore. But if there's any other questions that you want to ask Eliza, just uh, feel free to forward them to me or to install Eliza yourself to your Fritos machine and have fun with it. If you feel like you're going to be forever alone, if you are sitting in front of a program like this for hours, don't worry about it. Even Sheldon managed to get married. So I hope this was a little fun. Thanks for watching and God bless you. But stop before we sp before we stop the video. I still want to show you that uh, with the control and C keys, you can always quit a program. At least if it's in the shell. So I think for now we're going to really shut it down. And uh, thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye.